Well, I'd also love to talk about this Freedom Convoy, the Canadian truckers who are pro protesting vaccine mandates for drivers who will be crossing the border. We just heard this morning that there's a potential that there will be such a convoy in Los Angeles about the Super Bowl and perhaps one later in D.C. What do you make of all this? I'm all for it. Civil disobedience. Civil disobedience is a time-honored tradition in our country from slavery to civil rights to you name it. Peaceful protest, clog things up, maple th make people think about the mandates. And some of this we started. We put mandates on truckers coming across the border from Canada, so then they put mandates on, and the truckers are annoyed. They're riding in a, in a cab by themselves, most of them, you know, for eight, ten hour uh, long hauls, and they just want to do what they want to do. It's their own business. And uh, it's the way healthcare used to be. It used to be your own business, what you and your doctor talked about or what medications you took. It wasn't anybody else's business. And do you foresee that DC would react in a certain way if such a convoy came here? Um, it'd be great. But the thing is, it wouldn't shut the city down because the government workers haven't come to work in two years anyway. So uh, I don't know if it'd affect DC. It'd be a nice change. We'd actually have some traffic. So not only the government workers don't come to work in DC, uh, neither are the tourists allowed. I mean, Nancy Pelosi closed the Capitol down two years ago for God knows what reason. And, you know, you walk in there and I'll give people a tour on occasion. We're the only people in the Capitol. I mean, it's, it's kind of crazy. But I hope the truckers do come to America. I hope they clog up cities. And we're seeing a break in the dam now. Several Democratic governors are finally sort of relinquishing. So what they're finding is moms and dads that are upset about this are not just Republican. Everybody's upset about this. They're annoyed that their little kids have to be in a mask when even they are starting. It's breaking through, even through CNN. You know, you got that, you know, Dr. Fauci acolyte, that woman's like, oh, but... Facial masks are now just simply decorations. She's admitting the truth. That's what they've been the whole time.